today. So it might, we, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to last. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it might be a shorter one, is what I'm saying. Um, so the uh, warm up, what we're going to do, oh yeah, and you don't need any, any equipment unless you would like to hold some weight while we do some squats and lunges in the main set. You can add some weight to that if you um, fancy making it a little bit harder. Um, so yeah, for our warm up, we're going to do two exercises back to back, repeat three times, um, and then another two and another two. So we're just going to do 30 seconds on each one. First one is straight leg kicks. What's that? Mm. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's got text. Um, so straight leg kicks. So keep your legs really straight. And you're kind of like doing the can-can. It's quite a fun one. Try and keep your body nice and straight. You can really feel it working the core and the lower body, and it's quite nice and sort of jumpy. And then squat hold punches. So we're holding that squat and get as low as you can. 30 seconds of that. That's going to really start to burn. Then back to the kicks and then the punch holds. 30 seconds in each, three times in a row. Then we're going to do squat shuffle shuffles and mountain climbers. Then we're going to do kneel backs and split jumps. So I've tried to have one nice one and one not so nice one in each of the pairs. Oh, and if I'm talking a bit weird, because I've got a big on my tongue. I'm like, Ugh. all right. So let me just put this at 30 seconds. And then, yeah, the next set is full of lots of fun, fun press ups and things. Let me have a sip of tea. Let me start. Okay. So, are we ready for 30 seconds? Kick, kick, kicks. And go. So, straight legs. Do the can can. I'm guessing that's how the can can is. It's quite a nice one just to get your heart rate up. And yeah, you're going, you're sort of pivoting those hips, um, those legs from the hips. There's quite a lot of control going on in that lower band of abs. Three, two, one, turn around. Well, actually, you have to turn. You can face whatever direction you want. And then we're going to come down to a squat and punch for 30 seconds. We're just holding that squat. arms out nice and straight find a good pace good we've got about 10 seconds left try and straighten the back tuck the tailbone under really engage the glutes and stop straight back into our kicks and go Fun work. Quite nice to loosen up those legs and kick them out after squatting for 30 seconds and holding it. That's a bit of a killer. Get a little bit of a twist with these kicks if you can and stop back into 30 second holds. So into your squat and go. So, yeah, tuck the tailbone under, try and keep that lower back nice and flat and straight. Squeeze the glutes, get them to do the work. Good. Keep it going. Seven seconds. And stop. One more set. And go. Kicks. Last one of these, you get those legs really coming out. Three, two, one, and into our squat. 
and go last 30 seconds of the squat get as low as you can Good. Keep that pace with the arms. A little rotation in that thoracic spine. Eight seconds. Stop. Well done. Shake those legs out. All right, so now we're going to do squat, shuffle, shuffle. So we squat and then shuffle to the side. 30 seconds of that and then into mountain climbers. Ready and go. This is the nice one. And the mountain climbers is the less nice one. It's quite nice that the weather's a little bit cooler today, but a lot cooler. Still haven't had that load of rain and thunderstorms like they promised. And stop. 30 seconds, mountain climbers. Go. Low. Hands below your shoulders. Keep them there. Keep the shoulders over the wrist. And then bring those knees up with a bit of a twist. Bring them to the opposite elbow. Send them in that direction. Keep your bum low and your back flat. Good. And stop. I have to use my, uh, my mat for that. You guys know how quite uncomfortable this floor is. We'll use that. Okay. Squat, shuffle, shuffle. And go. Squat, shuffle, shuffle. You're going down, up, side to side. This is getting your body moving in different directions. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, mountain climbers again. Ready, and go. Good. Get those knees up nice and high. Only 30 seconds. We can do mountain climbers for 30. Any longer just gets a bit hot. Okay, keep it going. No idea how much time left. And stop, there's the buzzer. All right, one left. Squat, shuffle, shuffle. Go. Eight more seconds. And stop. All right, last mountain climbers. And go. Keep the wrists over. No, shoulders over the wrist. They might, throughout it, you might like slowly start moving backwards. As soon as your shoulders sneak back <clears throat> from your wrist you'll find your bum probably sneaks up into the air and that's as soon as that happens <clears throat> we're no longer engaging the abs and we're not uh, working the areas that we should be and stop oh well done that was a good combo i'm starting to get sweaty all right now we've got kneel backs and split jumps yeah mm. so Kneel back thrust throughs, we'll do um, 15 seconds one side, 15 seconds the other. And then the split jumps I'll just demo as well. So, <clears throat> kneel back, down and up, down and up. 
if they're coming up too much, just come up to stand. Kneel back to stand. And then the split jumps, these are quite mean. So jump to squat, back to middle. Jump down to squat, back to middle. So it's quite bouncy. All right, so we ready for kneel backs? 30 seconds. And go. Your knee doesn't have to come to the floor. You can just get quite low in that lunge. But if you want it to, that's fine. And switch legs. And stop. Okay, split jumps. So, big <coughs> wide squat, jump your feet together and go. So, squat, jump to the middle and a ball. To the middle and a ball. <coughs> so, if you have a tire, you can do it jumping in and out of the tire. So, you're jumping from that squat as well as back to it. Three, two, one. Woo. That gets those legs burning. All right, back to our kneel back. Ready, and go. This is about stability and glute strength. Ooh, my glutes are feeling it now and swap legs one more and stop and into our split jumps <coughs> ready and Go. Get nice and low when you jump to that squat. And stop. Whew, shake those legs. One more. One more. And then we're on to our main set. Okay. Kneel backs. Sorry, let me cut my hair in. Okay, kneel backs and ooh, go. And swap legs. I'm on a really wonky floor. <laughs> so this is challenging my stability even more. That's what we like. <clears throat> ah. One more. And stop. Okay, last of the split jumps. Ready? And go. Do that on the inside of the thighs, which is nice. Oh, it's getting hard. Eight seconds. And stop. Woo. Shake those legs out. <sighs> okay, grab yourself a drink. Let's have a little breather. Oh, so. What we've got is a bit of a press up challenge. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is five press ups, and then we're going to hold it for five beats, and then do five more press ups, 
hold for five beats, five more press-ups. So I'm hoping to do it three times. So press-up, hold, press-up, hold, press-up, hold. Um, and I'll count it out, so try and keep with me. So I'm just going to show you the different variations. <clears throat> so I'm going to go from the most extreme, which I doubt I'm going to be able to do, but we'll see. So <clears throat> most extreme is you're up um, on your toes and you do your five press ups, but for the hold, you come down here. The other extreme is for the hold, you're up in a plank like that. So you can do five press ups and then come down to hold for five and then come back up and do five more. That's really, really crazy hard. I'm gonna try it, I might fail straight away. If so, I'm just going to come up and hold a plank. Um, if you're on your knees, do your five press ups and then come up to a plank to do the hold and then go back onto your knees and do your five press ups. Um, or you can stay on your knees and do a low hold. Does that make sense? So your hold could be down here for the five or up here. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So that's the first one, <laughs> complicated enough. And then we're gonna do the same sort of thing in squats. So we're gonna do five squats and then hold for five, like hold down in the squat, do another five. Um, after that, we're gonna do five inchworms, but the combo inchworm. So you inchworm out, you do a press, you do a twist, twist, you come down to your forearms, you go back to high, you inchworm back up. So it's a very, full on inch one. And then we're gonna do the same with lunges. So lunge five times, like pulse like that, and then hold two, three, four, five, pulse again, and then swap legs. So I put that we're gonna go through this twice or three times, depending on how long it takes us or how intense it is. Two times might be enough. See how I'm feeling. <laughs> and because I do wanna do like a nice long core session at the end. So it might just be that we do twice through that and then we lie down on the floor and do some lovely easy core. So, everyone ready to do some press ups? I'm really thirsty, I might have to get some water. Okay, there we go. So, ready for this press up challenge. So I'm gonna try and press up five times, then hold it in that sort of chaturanga, and then come up five more, hold. I don't know if I'm gonna manage that, mainly because it's Saturday morning and I'm not at my fittest right now. <laughs> Maybe if it was like a, I don't know, Monday evening. I always feel a bit better in the evenings, strength wise. But morning after a few wines, probably not my best, best time to try this challenge, but we're gonna give it a go. I'll try it, try my best. You guys, like I said, whichever variation you want. But I want the hold to be, you know, equally as hard. So I don't want you on your knees with your arms straight because that's not as, that's like not gonna put too much pressure on the arms. But if you're on a plank or if you're on your knees, bend those arms. Okay, this is me rambling on to, to delay starting. All right. So, in position, ready for our press ups. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And hold. Two, three, four, five. And press. One, two, three, four, five. And Hold, two, three, four, five, and press, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. Yeah, three times was enough for that. Well done, guys. Whatever way you did that. So my elbows are coming out quite a lot there. 
because it's just a really hard thing to do. So don't worry, like to do that with your elbows really tight to your body would be the me mega extreme, ex extreme. All right, into our squat. So we're gonna squat five times. So I'm trying to find some decent floor. Squat five times, hold for five, squat five times. Okay, and I want them nice, low, um, like steady squats, not too fast. Sort of one, two down, one, two up. Okay, and down, and up, and down, and up. Three, four, five, and down, two, three, four, five, and up. And down, up. That's five. And down, two, three, four, five, and up. One more set. Down, and up. Two, three, Four, five, and down. Two, three, four, five, and up. Good, so I can feel that burn. All right, inchworms. So, inchworm out, press up, twist, twist, forearms high. I'll talk us through it. Ready, and go. Inch, in, out, and press, and Twist and twist and forearms high and inch back, roll it on up and down again. And press, twist, twist, forearms high, walk it back. And three, out we come and press. Twist, twist, forearms, high, come back. Two more to go. Inch it out, and press, twist, twist, forearms, high, inch it back. Last one, roll it on out, and press, and twist, twist, forearm, high, and back, roll it out. Well done. Hopefully feeling the core kick in a lot there because, uh, you know, when we're in a plank, we're pressing, we're moving, it should be the core that's doing a lot of the work. So by core, I mean, you know, glutes as well as those lower abs, muscles in your spine, like running down your spine, diaphragm, Okay, <clears throat> we can do our lunges. This one's gonna burn quite a lot, I think. So we're gonna so have your legs apart and we're gonna come down like so. All right, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, and down to hold. Two, three, four, five, and up, down, up. Two, three, four, five, and down to hold. Two, three, four, five, up, and down, up. Two, three, four, five, and down to hold. Oh, yeah, three, two, three, Four, five, and up. Oh, started to burn. You're getting rained on, pups. You're getting wet now. I need to close the door of the TV. Okay, other leg. Legs apart, but straight. And down, and up. Two, three, four, five. And down to hold, two, three, four, five, and up. 
and down, up, two, up, three, four, five, good, and down, hold, two, three, four, five, and up, last one, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, and down, two, three, Hi, sorry. Not, I have no idea what happened there. I didn't press anything, it just went away. Um, what I was saying is, I think we can definitely do two more rounds of that. Because it wasn't as awful as I thought it was gonna be. But I think it's a nice, um, it's one of those slow burns, you know? So let's do our press ups again. So, I'm gonna try and keep my elbows a little bit more narrow this time. We'll see. Um, that next okay, are we ready? Five press ups, hold, five press ups, hold, five press ups, hold. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five and back up and one two three four five and hold two three four five back up one more one two three four Five and hold two, three, four, five. Oh wow. Oh that gets so hard. Oh it's boring with rain. Ooh, okay, into our squats. So nice wide legs. Not that too no, not that wide. Actually as wide as you want. Okay, and squat and up. Two three, four, five, and down to hold, two, three, four, five, and up, and squat, two, three, four, five, and down, hold, three, four, Five and up and down. Two, three, four, five and down to hold. Two, three, four, five and up. Good. Oh, nice little burn there. All right, inch worm and out. Ready and inch and press. And twist, twist, forearms, and high. If you struggle to do the press up, just do a little like pulse. You don't need to do an actual press up. Um, if you struggle to give you the, or just leave out the press up. Um, if you struggle to go down to forearm and back, then you just hold that plank and then roll up. Okay, that two, this is the third. Press, twist, twist, forearms, high, oh, get arms back, two more. 
going okay into our lunges so ready let's go one two three four five and down two three four five and up and one two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five, and up, down, last one on this leg, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five, and up, oh, shake them out, swap legs, and down, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five, and up, and down, up, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five, and up, and one, two, three, four, five, and last hold, two, three, four, five, and up, oh, ho, ho, ho. Shake, shake, shake those legs. Good. We're going to do all that once more through. Okay. So the press ups, you might be at a stage where you want to take it down a little bit. So you might want to hold straight arms rather than bent, or you want to come down to your knees. We'll just try and try and go for the full whack again. Weird bangings going on behind me. Okay, so whew, you just sorry. Headphones get a little bit a little bit wet from sweat. It's really quite gross. Okay. It's warm. I'm really sweating, <laughs> but I think it's because it's still quite, quite muggy. You know, it's, it's nice and fresh. I'm glad we weren't doing this yesterday. <clears throat> okay, up into press up position. Last ones of these, okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five, and up, and one, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, and up, last one, one, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five, and, oh, oh dear, my arms are dead, oh, that's why we're going into legs, see how clever I've been, <laughs> kill the arms, kill the legs, swap it over, all right, into our squats, and squat, two, three, four, five, and hold, 
two, three, four, five, and up, and squat, two, three, four, five, and down, two, three, four, five, and up. Last one of these. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. Two, three, four, five, and up. Well done. Whew, shake them out, shake them out. Last of our inch arms, five of these, and inch in, out, and press, and twist, twist, forearms, high, and roll it on the back, and again, and twist, twist, forearms, high, and send your hips back. One more, not one more, three more. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Forearm, high, and back. Roll it on up. Number four. And twist, twist. Forearm, high, and back. Whew, last one now. Inch it on out, and press, and twist, and twist, and forearms, and high, and walk, get up, back, roll it on up. Whew, well done. Very full bodied. Okay, into our lunch. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, back down to hold, two, three, four, five, and up, and down, two, <clears throat> three, four, and five, and down, two, three, four, Five and up, one more here. Down, two, three, four, five, and hold, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, and up. Oof. Okay, other leg, last one's here. And we're gonna go down and up, two, Three, four, five, and down. Two, three, four, five, and up. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and down to hold. Two, three, four, Five and up, last one. Down and up, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five, and up. Well done, shake out those legs. Oh, yay. Oh, that was a bit of a, a slow burner. Oh, feeling all over my body. Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, Papa. Yes, I know. I know. It's all rainy. It's horrid. I know. Okay. So, we're going to do a nice sort of 10 minutes of core. So, I want to do, I want to hit a bit of everything. So, we're going to do planks side planks and on our back. Um, so we'll do a plank, then we'll go onto our side, then we'll go onto our back, and then we'll go onto our other side. So we're sort of doing a little 
circle. And we're gonna do that three times. So the first plank, um, we'll do forearm plank, and I wanna do 10 foot tap outs. No, let's do 10 hip dips. 10 hip dips and then 10 knees up. Or just hold the plank for the time that I'm doing those things. Um, side plank, you can do any which way you want. Um, I'm gonna do, let's say 12 arm dips on each side. Um, <clears throat> and then on our back for this round, we'll do, start off with some 10 uh, reverse crunches into 15 seconds of flutter kicks, okay? And then the next round, we'll do some different stuff. The next round, we'll do some different stuff. It'll all be like the same sort of thing there, if that makes sense. Just go with it. It'll all make sense once we're doing it, maybe, probably not. But it'll, it'll be working. <laughs> Gosh, it's getting nice and, nice and breezy. You know, Jeff, you can't get on my mat. This is my mat. Okay, into forearm plank. So either just hold it here or go along with me as I count. So hip dips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and now bring these up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, come down. Jeffrey just trotted off into the rain. He hates the rain. He's gone up towards the house. Maybe he's gone, maybe he went home. Maybe he's like, screw this. All right, into your first side plank. So I'm going to do some arm dips, but you can do whatever you want. You can just hold it. I'm going to do 12 arm dips. Oh, that's a painful bit. Okay, so up into that side plank and hold. And I'm going to dip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Oh, went down. Good, roll onto your back. And we're gonna do reverse crunches, 10 of these, and then hold. Don't put your feet down. We're gonna do straight into a flutter kick for 15 seconds. And I'm gonna set the timer for that. Ready, and go reverse, and then out, so knees to chest. And then legs out straight and long. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hold, flutter those legs. Pull your lower back flat to the ground. Pull your belly button to your spine. Keep them nice and tight. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Good, onto your other side. Into side plank number two. And up you come. And I'm gonna do 12 arm dips. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good, and down. Oh, where have you come from? He went out that way and he's come back from over there. If you are crazy, you gonna put a little run around. All right, so we're gonna do all of that again, but I'm gonna mix up the, uh, the sort of thing that we're doing. So plank, we're gonna do a high plank with shoulder taps. We're gonna do 20 shoulder taps. 
side planks we're going to do side crunches instead 15 of those um, on our backs we're going to do 20 bicycle crunches okay so into a high plank so try not to tip if you really struggle to do shoulder taps just hold the plank but try and do a few so shoulders over your wrists bum down back flat and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one good straight into side plank number one so bend the bottom knee under for support top leg straight and off the ground bring your hip up elbow to knee one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty good and down onto your back bicycle crunches 20 of these so i want the nice and steady get the leg that's out straight as long and as low as you can and try not to bring your knee to your elbow try and keep your knee roughly at the place where your hip is um, and bring your elbow to your knee it's a lot harder okay so 20 Ooh, 20 is a lot and one two three four five six seven eight nine Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew, good stuff. Onto your other side. Bend that knee under. Hip off the floor. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five. Good. Sorry about my random counting. Okay, one more round. This time, we're going to do. What should we do plank wise? Let's do 10 low plank to high plank. So like you're doing the inchworms. Um, if again, if that's something that you find really, really hard, because they are really, really hard, <laughs> um, if you find it impossible, then do a variation that you're happy with, whether that's just holding the plank for the time that we're gonna do that up and down. So let's say 10 up and downs, I think. 10 up and down planks. Side planks, I'm gonna do some leg raises, um, but please feel free to not do that because they are again quite tough i'm going to put my foot on a tire i'm going to elevate my feet for those um and then we're going to do some boats for the ones on my back okay so up and down planks side plank with a leg raise boats 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 i'm going to do 15 boats and i'm going to do 15 leg raises on each leg are we ready in a high plank and go down to low and up to high down to low and up to high down to low up to high four five six seven eight nine and ten. Let's do two more. Eleven and twelve. Oh, well done. Into our side plank. So I'm going to do fifteen leg raises. 
This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Okay. Up we go. Into side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, last one, and one, oh god, oh my gosh, 15 of those is tough, okay, into boats, 15 boats, so have your hands by your hips if you want some stability, we can have them off the floor. So you're going to come out nice and low and then back up. Okay, so 15 of these and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifty. Whew. Well done, guys. And into side plank, last one. In a dip. We'll find somewhere comfortable for that elbow. All right, up we go. Oh, I'm not on it enough, sorry. Up we come, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, and down we go. Whew. Good work, guys. Oh, well done. Okay, let's stretch out a little bit. Oh my goodness. I feel, uh, I feel quite well worked. All right, get your legs nice and wide. Take it to the right. Enjoy that stretch down the back of your leg. Good stuff. And the other side. Good, back to the middle. Walk your hands out, let's stretch out the calf, heels to the floor. Good. And walk your hands back. Roll on up. And feet together and do some quad stretches. And guys, I've just realized this is probably our last Saturday Zoom, isn't it? Well, it is. Well. I don't know, we didn't know how the world's going to go. But next Saturday, am I right? Is next Saturday the 4th of July? It is. It is. Yay! So we're going to be here. I really hope the weather's better than this. Because it is drizzly. But I hope it's not as hot as it was earlier this week. Because that was a bit too hot. Too difficult to uh, really enjoy a workout in that kind of heat. So, um, yeah, guys. Hopefully I will see you all back here. We'll be very safe. Please bring your own gloves because everyone needs to be gloved up because obviously we'll be touching the same equipment. But if you've got some gloves on, and I don't mean those plastic gloves that you wear in the supermarket. I mean, you know, your gardening gloves that stretch out those arms um, or whatever, you know, whatever gloves, cycling gloves, just something. And if you have them clean, and wash them after each section, then we'll be fine. And I'll spray everything down with some antibiotic afterwards and 
I mean, we're outdoors. It's going to be perfectly safe. Okay. And, oh, arms behind. Can't do that one today. Loosen out shoulders. Arms across the body. Good. And the other one. So, yeah, Zoom next week. I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday sessions. And then, oh, and then it's back.